have some questions and um, some uh, some things to go over. I'm going to hold on this one for last. I always took a small one to do last. And we'll do this one. This is from Amazon. This is from Petco. And this is from Amazon. You know, it dawned on me today. I don't even know the last time we actually turned the, the audio off. Did you guys notice that? Like, you know, we started out once or twice a week having it on. And then we started doing a little bit longer. And now it seems like we're, we're doing it all the time. Hope you guys like that. There's probably some times that we've flipped it off, but not very often. Hopefully nobody's made inappropriate comments. <laughs> we have to keep telling everybody, no cussing. Um, oh, we got a paper. I love it when there's papers. Uh, this is from Tampa, Florida, from Key Margo. And she says, keep up the good work. From Tampa, Florida. Key Margo must be her, um, maybe her, her webcam name. It's from Margaret, is her first name. And... There's three of these, and I, I have got to do better notes on okay, these okay. because no, 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 it really no, 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 no. Uh, really bothers me when I think I get some of these acknowledgments that I try to do on the blog every night. I think sometimes, or every morning, I think sometimes I mess them up, and I sure, it bothers me a lot if I do that. So I try, i got to do better and keep it record. We've got... Um, Ah, uh, whoopsie. Let me do this. Um, Key Margo sent three cases of the kitty uh, fancy feast. And you guys know we are using a huge amount of this right now. So we even use this for the oldsters. It's juicy stuff and they like it. And, oh there, Key Margo, you're on right now. Thank you, thank you. Yes, we do need it. Um, our supply of this, we use a lot of it. Um, all the kitties get it. We mix it in the breakfast meal, the main meal, and then the supper main meal, and then the individual meals too. So thank you, Key Marco. Appreciate this very, very much. It will all get used. Right? Yeah, that's nice. You know, I've, I've, said, I've said several times that... I always feel, um, I don't know if rich is the right word to use, I never feel rich, but I always feel that when our food cupboard is full or, or sufficient, that we're A-OK. -okay. It's a big feeling of security to know for me that we've got the food that we need to feed this many kitties. So you guys are a huge, huge big part of that. And this one is the one from Pet um, Petco. And this is from, oh, this is uh, another one from Sabrina T. Cat and um, Canton Cat. We got this yesterday. Some from Sabrina and Canton, and this must be an extra one um, from them. So, you got to bear with me writing things down, because I'm bound and determined I'm going to keep this straight. We got four more packages of Temptation. Do you guys remember that? Uh, here, let me grab it real quick. Hey, guys. Remember the tree tower that we got probably three, four weeks ago? I've been putting this out at night. This is really cool. Uh, the cats do really good with it. I've been putting one or two bags in here at night, and, and it hey. does last quite a while. And uh, it just trickles down, and, and I always shake it so that it goes on all the levels. Last night when I came out and put some in, it, there was cats all around it. There was cats digging out here. And, um, oh, nuts. I can't remember which one it was, but one had a head stuck, not stuck, but in, in the top hole eating it, too. So we'll put that out tonight also. Thank you, Sabrina and Camp and Cat. We appreciate the, the temptation. I don't know what it is about those treats. Those treats and the um, Wichita Lickens, but they love those. Love them, love them, love them. Aww. 
we got two kitties sleeping in the box. Two kitties sleeping. All right, who took my... Oh, I was going to say Octavia did. This one is a one from Amazon. And I have no idea. Sometimes I can get them and sometimes I can't. It's heavy, but it's not like really heavy. <laughs> Tweeny, what are you doing? You're acting like a goon. Acting like a goon. Oh, batteries. <gasps> yes. Let's see if we got a note on them. From, oh, this is from David M. Thank you, David. Um, the Durabell batteries. Thank you. Um, I know one thing that I can also use this for other than some of the toys are the flashlights that I use. I have these little embarrassingly little flashlights that I take outside like um, in the mornings if I hear something out there I'll go out and sometimes I can't use the bigger ones because I have no battery. Thank you David. That's, that's a cool one. No wonder I didn't guess what that was. And then we have, this is from Alice. And Alice, I I love your name. I had a dear, dear friend of mine. She died a few years ago. She was 86. And Steve and my family and I took care of her. She had she had no other family. She lived right next door to me. Loved her. Just as if she was my mom, my grandma, everything rolled into one. And uh, so Alice is always a very special name for me. And, wow, we oh, got lots oh. of cards. Cool. Oh, man. Wow. Cutter got a card. Bella got a card. Yeah, I got, got a lemon. Oh, Emma Line. Did she get up there by yes, herself? Yes, she did. Aw. Um, Alice, is it okay if I read this out loud? or? Nope. That's okay. Come on. Let me know. Okay. Is that okay, Alice, if I read this? Okay. Sometimes I do. Emmeline. Yes. I love having this chat line here. I love it. It says, Dear Jackie, thank you so much for sharing your shelter with all of us webcammers. My name is Alice on the webcam. Alice J. Gamble on the webcam. <laughs> Couldn't think of a better name. Well, that's a good name. Here's a money order for a DVD. And if there, is, if there is any any left, yes, we'll get you one. If there is any left, just use the money for something you need. And then she gives me her address. And um, Alice, you're from, oh, I'm really bad on this. It, well, oh, here it is. It's Winnipeg. So you are quite a distance away. Thanks again for sharing your shelter and cats. I really enjoy watching, especially breakfast time and the box opening. I will be sending some photos when I get them printed up. Please, we would love that. I hope that the kitties enjoy the toys. Most, um, most something, something have been tested right. by numerous cats at the shelter here that I volunteer at. Oh, good for you. Good for you. Take care of yourself. Get lots of rest. And thanks again, Alice. Thank you, Alice. And now that I have your address, I will get you your DVD out in tomorrow's mail. So let's put uh, this here. Help. And whoops, do you need help? Aww. You don't want to get off. He doesn't. <laughs> you love Pat. Aww. He never did that before. Yeah. I thought that was sweet. That is sweet. Do you want to lay here on your Betty Bye? On your little Betty Bye? Because I don't know if I want to go to Betty Bye yet. So Bella, and I know Racer, Kurt took a picture of Bella's uh, wall of cards. He's going to probably have to take another one because it's getting more. This says a warm hello. Sending you warm, happy thoughts and hopes of uh, brightest sunshine. I'm so glad to hear from Jackie how well you are doing. That is wonderful. You are such a tough little kitty cat and gorgeous one too, I may add. That is very true. The pictures of you on Facebook with the babies are so sweet. You are so kind to take care of them. I know the... I know they appreciate it, and Jackie sure does. You get lots of rest, and don't let those little ones work you too hard. 
soon you will be back to yourself, scooting around the shelter with uh, us web cameras enjoying watching you. And also then you won't have them awful collars anymore. They are horrid things, but they're for your own good. And it's from love from Alice. Aw, oh, Alice, that's so nice. You know, I every once in a while, I know it might sound silly, but every once in a while I'll hold Bella up and I'll show her all her cards on, on her wall of cards. <laughs> I just think it's really special that you guys do that for her. We've had a lot of fun here, and all the visitors that come, that is a big attraction to them. And Putter! Putter, where's our he's Putter boy? He's on the blanket. He's on the oh, he's right there on the yellow table. Mm -hmm. Pat just brought another uh, little, little kitty, kitty blanket. A little kitty blanket, a little booby that she made, and Putter cleaned it. It's, this is for Putter. If ever you're feeling a little bit blue, remember I care a whole lot for Aww. you. Aww, Putter. This dear Putter, I was so sorry to hear about your beautiful tail injury. Look after it so it heals quickly. And it's back to the beautiful puppy tail we all know and love. I wish I lived closer so I could give you a big hug. Maybe Jackie and volunteers will give an extra one for, for you, and we will do that. P.S. I couldn't find a kitty cat card for you, but I thought this was cute too. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> also, I think you are a very handsome fella, even without your poofy tail. Yeah, his tail went from like this to up, like this on the end. Mm -hmm. Well, he had that great big uh, score. Oh. So, it was like this long, and it's still not healed 100%, no. but, but it's getting there. It's getting there. So, what do we have here? Ooh. This is, it says um, thrift store uh, in support of the RC, ARC Animal Rescue Center. So is this the uh, rescue center that, that you volunteer for? Oh, look at these. Oh, these are all those catnips. Ooh, yeah, these are catnips. Oh, there's, there's like, and these little round ones. Oh, the kitties are going to love these, Alice. Kitties will love this. So that's where you volunteer at, I see. That's cool. Oh, I should be making more of those little scrubbies. Huh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, those turned out really well. Oh, they do butter. like to throw those around, don't they? Oh, and you got catnip in these. These are awesome. Look at this. So does somebody for your shelter make all these? Oh, they, oh they're going to like this. Thank you. There's all kinds of bits and pieces of catnip toys in here. That's cool. Thank you, Alice. You know these guys will love it. Oh, Anything cat nippy is awesome. Oh, Ooh, these are fun. I hope you the fleece. Yeah, have you seen these no, before? No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, I've seen these sold at, at, uh, <laughs> you rascal, at, um, cat shows. Ow, you little bug. Get out here, you little turkey. Um, I think in here in the knot, it's mm -hmm. filled with, with cat nips. Oh. Yeah. They sell, I've seen these where they sell them at, um, Cat shows. So thank you. Really? Thank you. Yeah, you know, that looks like a very... I know. Oh. Karen and I made them one time to put in adoption mm -hmm. bags, and they, they're, the cats will love them. We'll put a few of these out. Oh, they kind of like something like that. Huh. Here, Asha. Whoops. Just one. Oh, and posting notes. <laughs> I can't live a day without my posting notes. And... Oh, and this is, oh, look at that. Oh. It's, uh, oh, you got to see this. It's oh. a tablet. I use, to, I use so much paper. I have to write everything down, but watch. I don't know if you can tell this kitty moves. It's one of those holographic kind holographic of ones, yeah. Cute, cute, cute. Yeah, the baby and patient can, was, is moving around more. Good. <laughs> and I'm not going to let my grandkids do this. And guess what? Octavia smells the catnip. You can smell it, but don't you dare put any holes in there. Ouch! No drooling on it. Either. Yeah, don't, no droolies either. We don't want Octavia drool. <laughs> she says, I want the bag. <laughs> bag mine. Oops, here we go. We'll put that up on Bella's wall. And Potter looks pretty cute over there with his. Uh, um, thank you so much. Oh, you guys... Rushing on. You guys are just... Mm -hmm are just awesome. Uh, I think I lost one of my pieces. Is this a little one? Nope. It's smaller. Smaller than that one. Well, maybe it's so small I just can't see it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, you like that. Yeah, that. Like that. Did you take it? Did you take it, Noble? We butter butter. We butter butter. Oh, I swear. I have to
to tie things to me now so I don't lose things. Okay, well, I'm going to wing it. Um, I've got your questions, but I lost my paper with things that I wrote on it, So, but I think I can remember them. Um, first off are the four girls. Um, let's see if I can remember their names because we just named them and I'm not 100% on them. It's uh, Zoom and Kozo and Sh Shale and uh, oh, Shale. Oh, darn. <laughs> I knew that one earlier. <laughs> I'm really pushing my brain cells tonight. And they're saying, no, no, don't use me up. Sage, of course it's Sage. They are doing wonderful. Um, these four girls, I can't wait for them to get out. <laughs> and you guys, I can't wait for, for them to come out uh, because they're going to be just so much fun. Uh, they just purr just by looking at them. And you go in the room to pat them and play with them. And it feels like the room just vibrates with their purring. Um, we're going to keep them in oh, keep them in there. What was that? Was that cutter? Oh, cutter. I thought it was some of the Oh, gosh. Um, we're probably going to leave them in there. Tomorrow's Friday. Saturday is such a... Oh, Saturday is going to be their surgery. So we'll probably leave them in there till after their surgery. And maybe Sunday we'll, we'll let them out. Miranda, you're knocking everything I have down. You know what? She smells uh, the catnip. That's what she's doing. Here. Here, Miranda. Here we go. Here. Here we go. Just don't fall off the shelf. Uh, so that's it on the girls. And then Saturday, we are, we're all ready. I've checked in with Lynette, Dr. Cindy again, and Sue. I have to call yet and Bonnie I've checked in with the others though today and they're ready to go and like I had said yesterday we've got a huge big day that is going to be super super crazy busy so at I'm going to be out here early to give them their breakfast and um, then they're going to have to go I think what we're going to have to do is designate the office as uh, NPO or nothing to eat and all the cats that can't eat anything have to go out there with the door shut because there's so many of them. I don't have cages to hook up 20, what is it, 26 kitties. So we're going to probably use the office. But but that morning they have to have their pain meds, their soreness meds. And um, I'll probably recheck their weights again and uh, just make sure physically that every one of them looks good before I take them out. And uh, so Jody is going to come out Saturday morning to help me out too. Um, I'll do the feeding. She'll be out here by 5. And then um, she'll do all the, the mopping, sweeping, and wiping off things and that for me so that I can concentrate on, on the surgery day then. So, oh, what a day. We've never done that many in a day. Um, the other thing was... Um, Bumblebee, as you know, has come back. Um, this family took awesome care of Bumblebee. She was adopted in August, so she's been there a couple months. Um, Mom brought her back, was very sad to leave her. They took excellent care. And, you know, I know sometimes we're a little, want to be a little critical of why did they have to do that kind of thing, but things happen. Things happen. We know that. And um, I'm just grateful that they bring them back. This, they, they took awesome care of her. Very sad to leave her. But situations in our lives um, change day to day. And sometimes you find yourself in a position where you can no longer care for your pets. And so they did the right thing. They brought her back here. And, you know, if they ever get into a better situation um, in months down the road, and if by chance Bumblebee is still here, they, they would love to have her back. We're just going to have to see, you know, we're going to put her up for adoption. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, she's awesome. I'll show you to her. I'll show her to you here in just a couple minutes. What is she doing? Oh, do you want to get her? Yeah, Looks like she's chewing on something. She's doing pretty good. Yeah, she is. Before. She's in Dodger's pen. I, I left it shut for a few hours. Oh, she's, she's going to actually maybe try to... She's just a little bit nervous, and that's okay. We're, we've got her She's pinned rolling. over. You know what she did? I bet you um, she turned around and licked her neck. 
I put her front line on her or her advantage and I'm going to bet you she Aww. got a little bit on her tongue. So we'll leave her door open for a while uh, yet tonight but then it's going to get shut for during the night and then tomorrow morning as soon as I come out I'll, and do breakfast then I'll uh, reopen that again. I'll bet you she'll be out tomorrow. So that's Bumblebee. Um, yes, who just said that? DLC, you are absolutely right. You know, the family, this wasn't a decision that they made lightly. They're very sad. Uh, our new kitty um, is, uh, is doing good. Let me check one thing here. Um, he's supposed to be butter. Where? Yes. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Where? Here she is. Oh, can you show her? She's a little cranky. Uh, just kind of show her down a little bit lower. And there's but there's um, Bumblebee or BB. Remember, she had those beautiful um, side markings. Okay. It's okay, honey. She says, I'm just not sure, and I miss my family. I don't know where my bed is. Yeah, she's, she's going to be okay, though. 24 hours will make a huge, big difference. And she's, she's very relaxed in her pen now, so she's going to be okay. We'll just give her lots and lots of TLC um, tonight, yet, and tomorrow. Uh, uh, that new kitty that came in last night, the one that got in the fan blade, or... I, I'm assuming it was being blade. I'm not really positive, but that was in the engine of that older car. Um, we, we took Pam, our volunteer, came this morning around 10, took him up. Um, his name is Remo, R-E-M-O, and I know earlier today I said it was a different name. We changed it. It's Remo. I think it means lion. Um, but Remo uh, went up there. He was up there by 11. He ended up having a little bit of trouble there when they when they uh, examined him. His temperature was 104. Kitties normally are 101, 102, and they waited about a half hour and it went up to 105. That's whistles and alarms for you know we don't want that. So um, they hooked up an IV, which he still he still has a catheter in for us to give fluids and uh, we could do meds that way also. Um, and gave him some uh, anti-inflammatories and some an and some uh, antibiotics. When I walked into Thumper's room this morning, oh man, did it smell! It smelled like this was a very very old wound, but they had told me that it was only a day old, but it smelled rotted. So um, the one they were thinking of maybe initially waiting till tomorrow to do the surgery, mm -hmm. but because cats and humans. When, they, when we have injuries or they have injuries, sometimes our bodies go into such a, um, uh, like an inflammatory response to the wound that it escalates everything and the temperature goes up. So uh, Dr. Darcy, I thought very strongly that even though the temp was up, that we needed to get that leg removed so that things can kind of start evening out in the kitty. So they did, and he did really fine. I already took his temp once already here, and it's down. We're keeping him just uh, pretty good with the uh, pain meds, but uh, he looks really good. He really does. I think tomorrow he'll be a little bit happier. You know, when they start coming out of the anesthetic drugs and the pain med drugs, they are, they got to feel a little weird, and that's why I think he was grumbling a little bit earlier today. Now, tonight during the night, if you guys hear him, you might hear him whining a little because he is still coming out of the anesthetic. Um, but trust me, he's got pain meds on board. Um, pain level should be pretty minimum. The, the voice or the grumbling you might hear is just probably from the anesthetic coming out of that. So we'll make sure everything's okay. And I trust me, I'll be checking on him during the night. And when I open that door over here, I see directly into this pen. So we'll be we'll be okay. Um, am I forgetting one of the kitties? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the questions. and might bring up something else I've forgotten. Uh, Carolina asked if the kitties love the shrimp and tuna and the squid you sent. Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> they loved it. That. Some of that stuff was really, really, they they went crazy over it. 
Um, Silly Sticks asked if Zelda is limping, and yeah, you know she is. She's got a little bit of limp on that one front leg. I don't know if she, I always say if she zigged instead of zigged, um, but she's going to be fine. Um, if it if it's she's still limping a little bit this mor tomorrow morning, we'll give her a little bit of something. Sometimes we don't want to go overboard in giving pain meds because when they hurt, there's a purpose for that, and that means take it easy, slow down, don't overdo. So we don't want to interfere with that process either. So she's doing okay, and I love that girl. I love Zelda. Uh, Birds R Us asked if magenta is eating, and why do we put her in a pen sometimes to eat? In the morning when I do breakfast, Magenta is right there. She eats on the counter with Vera, and she eats really good. And when I prepare breakfast, the other cats are not allowed up there, although some of them are up and down and up and down. But they eat down here. Those two eat there, so I don't have to cage her. But during the day when the volunteers offer spe the special feedings for the oldsters, a lot of times we'll put them in a pen. And that's just so... They can eat in peace, and the little ragamuffins aren't um, taking all the food away from um, the oldsters. So that's all. You know, maybe five minutes, the door comes open, and out they go again. We've done this, done it this way for a long, long time. They're used to it. They do real well that way, and uh, they don't think it's a punishment of any way. They just think it's food time. Uh, Carolina Ash asked about uh, yeah the seizure. I did mention that. Last night it looked like our uh, Remo boy was having a seizure, but after we, I gave it the, uh, the second kind of pain med, that stopped completely. I think that the shaking and quivering he was doing was a response to the pain level that he was having. So we got that under control, and then that all stopped. And up there at the vet's office today, they told me how wonderful of a cat he is. A kitty. He's a kitty. Um, he's a pretty cool boy. I can't wait for you to see him. He purrs and he's just a lover. Nuki Sr. asked if we found Nuki Jr. All day long we found Nuki whenever we wanted to. Tonight we can't find her. I'm gonna When I'm done here, I'm going to check the food shed or food closet to see if she got underneath there again. But she's doing better. You know, she was a little shy when she came in, but she's a toughie. Um... Her wound, that awful wound that was on her leg, is so much better. It's just down to like mm, half of a little finger's nail size, so she's doing really good. Oh gosh, I wrote something I can't read my writing. Oh, is this the one? Nope, smaller. <laughs> Birds are us asked about patty cake. If I had a talk with patty cake, I most certainly did. I was thoroughly embarrassed to learn that Patty Cake peed on a rug during the night. Yeah, we're talking you, dude. Or, nope, that's that's her. It looks like. Can't believe he did that. I even double checked. Oh, are you sure that he did it? There he is. There he is. Patty purrs in there. Patty Cake's over here. Yeah, and he didn't pay any attention to me. Those guys are those both those boys are so darn spoiled. Yeah, did you do that? Did you pee on a rug? It said never. It was butter. But I know you guys know your cats, so I believe you. Um, where, where in the world is Patty's? I understand that Patty is in Wales right now. So we're anxiously um, waiting to see where he's going to go next. I'm keeping a track on my map out there. And pretty soon after I add a couple more, just um, the Patty's are in blue. And pretty soon I'll take a string and go from one place to the next to the next so I'll be able to see see where he's going. Um, Frank and Carmela and Fuzzy asked about my mom and dad. Um, dad. They both have had a bad week. That's why I've been gone a little bit more. Um, uh, dad is just kind of hanging in there. He's still you know, in his chair a lot, sleeping a lot. Um, he's, he's still, he, he told me, he made me smile today. He's, what was he, he was teasing me about something, and that was good to see. My mom had, is having a little rough time. I think all this is kind of catching up to her. It's a little bit overwhelming for her, too. Um, but today was a better day for my mom than yesterday. Her, her wounds, wounds that she has on her leg are much better today 
um, they were very nasty. She really fell hard. One of them still is very bruised and one is very deep, but today when I changed her dressings, they look better. We're going to try something on Sunday. Um, we're going to, I'm going to see if my son can, Sammy, before he comes, um, we'll go out and get them and bring them here. Um, uh, Dad, wants, Dad and Mom wants to see the floor and see what we've been doing. So we're going to try it. And you guys, a lot of you have seen my mom and dad uh, when they come on Sundays when we do breakfast. Um, is Nancy on? My sister Nancy on? My my sister Nancy comes on. You guys know her. A lot of you know her. Her and her husband's leaving next week for a long trip. They're going to go maybe three. Yep, there. Hi, Nancy. They're going to go for about three months and. Nancy knows that if anything goes wrong, that um, I will call her in a second, and she can be, no matter where they go on their trip, she can be back here within 24 hours if we need her, and uh, Nancy's in the house, yes, yes, she's, um, my sister's, it goes Judy, then Nancy, then me, then my sister Patty, the one that's in Boise, so, um, but they're, they're doing okay. And uh, tonight is the night that one of the nurses comes in or nurses aides and spends a lot of the nighttime hours with them. So uh, I know what it was today. My dad was teasing about a little. Paul spent all day out there yesterday, today, yesterday and today mowing and mowing and um, mulching up the leaves. They have a ton of uh, trees on their property. And he got this huge trailer that we have that was filled with mulched leaves. And when he got done uh, packing it in and putting the tarp in, the yard looked like he hadn't um, done anything to the leaves. They were just coming down and just showers. So my dad had to tease uh, Paul a little bit that it looked like he hadn't done anything. So that was nice to have him, him be in that kind of a mood. So I think that that's it. Unless I forgot something, I'll take a second and see if I can check on the cam, the chat. Is there anything I forgot anybody wanted? <laughs> I think it is too. Paul is a very, very good worker. He's good here and he's great with my mom and my dad. Kellen. Oh, Kellen has, thank you, Bantry. Kellen has surgery tomorrow. Um, they're going to, uh, they have to be there very early. They're going to put the tube back in the ear, the left ear, I think it is, that is causing the most trouble. That's where she has that MRSA at. And tomorrow also they're going to try to flush her ear out completely and then, but first take another culture. She still has her pick line in her arm. And if that culture comes back uh, satisfactory on Monday, I think, or Tuesday, the next day they'll pull finally that pick out. I think she's had that pick line in for, geez, six weeks. It seems like it's been a long time. So um, I hope she gets it out. She's getting real tired of all this, and I feel, I think, more sorry for Karen than I do for Kellen. Karen, Karen is an angel. She's, she is so patient, and she just does a wonderful thing with, with all three of the girls. But It's, it's hard, um, but she, she does it with a smile. And how is Tugger? Tugger uh, is he's a little shy. He's a little shy. Um, he spends a lot of time in Cat's Corner Room, but I've seen him three times today come out here. So Easy does it with him. I think slowly he'll come out and make some friends. I know one question I didn't uh, write down, or didn't address, uh, and I'm not sure who asked. But somebody asked, um, thank you, Sherry. I appreciate that for, for everybody. Um, ba Badu, the, that fella that called a few days ago that was interested in Badu, I just talked to him right before we did the boxes tonight, and he's going to come tomorrow uh, around 3 o'clock, I believe it is. And he would like to look at Badu or somebody else, but he mentioned Badu again, so we'll see. Maybe Badu will find a home and maybe he'll pick somebody else too. So, 
I think that that is it. Thank you guys for the gifts that we got tonight. I've got to give Farah her medicine and look look, look for Nuki and um, work on our little Remo boy here a little bit too. And tomorrow I'll show you Remo. Um, he's a pretty, he's a brown tiger. He's beautiful. So thanks everybody. Appreciate you guys so very much. And isn't this the cutest little baby? Hi, Putters. Yes. This is Donna. What, the little orange one isn't out here right now? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, Weasley? Oh, there. He's there. probably, is he there? there? Yep, there he is. <laughs> okay. Why don't you get down there with Octavia? Don't eat him. No eating, eating babies. Okay. Are you sleepy? You're so little sleepy, baby. And how are you, Jody? Uh, your other mommy called and asked her how you were doing. I told her you're doing good. The whole world.